The Concept2 slide is an accessory for all models of indoor rowers that adds an on-water feel to indoor rowing. On a slide, the indoor rower moves back and forth under the person rowing, instead of the person moving back and forth on a stationary indoor rower. This workout feels more like rowing in a boat, because in a boat, the boat moves underneath the athlete as he or she rows. It will take a few strokes to find your rhythm when rowing on the slides. Steady movements and control of your body's approach into the catch will allow you to center the indoor rower on the slides and row without banging into either end of the slides. Here are a few tips to help you get started. Begin from the catch or take shorter strokes at first. Gradually lengthen from half to full slide strokes as you control the movement of your body into the catch and feel the movement of the machine underneath you. If you are hitting the front edge of the slides, you are rushing into the catch and need to slow the speed of your recovery. If you are banging into the back of the slide, try not to stop at the finish. If you continue banging around on the slides, try not to think too much. Just relax and row smoothly. On a slide, you will probably find it easier to row at higher stroke rates than you do on a stationary erg. This is possible because you are only moving the mass of the indoor rower while you row. On a stationary indoor rower, you need to move your body mass as well. Rowing at higher stroke rates allows you an additional option for altering the intensity of your training sessions. Stroke rate variation is also a necessary tool for many interval workouts. And if you are an on-water rower, the slide allows you to row more often at familiar on-water stroke rates. Slides can be set up as a team boat with Model C, D, and E indoor rowers and offer great variety to indoor training. With two or more connected slides, you can row together with a training partner or teammate. To row effectively with a partner, you and your partner must be in sync. One person needs to establish the rhythm of work done when indoor rowers are connected on multiple slides. The partner following must time his or her sequence of movements with this leader, just as rowers in a team boat must follow their leader. If the partner following is not in sync, there will be an unnatural surge of body weight into the catch position and the work of the drive will feel too heavy. It works best for the partner following to match the recovery sequence of the leader. Remember the basics of good rowing. From the finish position, extend the arms, lean the body forward from the hips, and slide up to the catch. Now you and your partner can begin the work of the drive together. Press the legs, lean the body from 1 o'clock back to 11 o'clock, and finish the drive by pulling the handle into the body. Just as you learned when beginning a solo workout on slides, it is often best for a pair of athletes to begin rowing together from the catch. When multiple bodies are connected on indoor rowers via the slides, it's easy to feel the momentum of each other's body weight. When your movements happen at different speeds and your timing is off, the work feels much heavier, especially for the leader. When your movements are in sync, the work of the drive feels light and your initial push with the legs feels quick. Whether you are rowing with others or alone, rowing on slides is fun, easy to learn, and will bring variety to your workouts. For more information on connecting indoor rowers via slides and the space needed to do so, visit our website at concept2.com.